Welcome back guys to Forza Motorsport 7. We're here for the round 4 of the Forza Drivers Cup here at Rio what's the Rio, Rio de Janeiro full circuit I didn't know which one it is because it's got different variations on the circuit. Um, there's a link in the description for the previous race at Laguna Seca if you want to go check that out please feel free to but without any hesitate well actually we'll check the series standings before going in I, I went all the way down to bottom and leading the standings is G-Man World he is 30 points ahead of Fatboy85 well 58 I'm gonna say 85 for some reason S Frey is third uh, Jessica is fourth and I am fifth after a couple bad races to be fair but um, it's been difficult since the first race in Long Beach, but let's get on. Hang on. No, I would not like to leave. But let's get on with the f with the start of this race, guys. Get closer to the TV with me. Microphone. I really need to get it on like a little bit of a stand to swivel around. But uh, here we go. We we are underway now for race four in the Forza Drivers Cup V8 Supercar Series. Okay, it's getting a bit tight through here. This is we're making it three wide. We've made contact with the Mercedes. I think that is. It's still turning. It's still there though. It, oh, the, they got late on the brakes. The, uh, well, not late on the brakes. They got early on the brakes there. Can we keep the car in a straight line? Yes, we can. But we're being passed by everybody now. So we're down to P8. It's not good that ain't. But you should. You guys should be able to see in this tunnel better than I would. It's pretty dark on 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 screen. Actually, no, you might not be able to see better than than I. So, okay, we we're crashing into Dusky Elephant 29. That's not good. You don't want to be crashing to anybody in the V8 supercars. As we, yep, up the inside. We've already knocked his wing mirror loose. Well, more than loose. We've we've lost it. We've just bumped into the pen right car as we get up the inside to P7 this is going to be a long seven laps I tell you so I have done a little bit of practice for this circuit but not a lot but I'm just happy to race here guys I'll have to probably go back and do the oh no we're gonna hit the wall yep I'm probably gonna have to do do this and win it all back in my spare time but oh, if I can But as we all know, as we both, well not as we both, as we all know guys, I'm actually racing on unbeatable difficulty. Which for these type of tracks, I probably should have it on, on just hard. Or is it professional, is it? I can't remember which one it is, but we're bouncing over these curbs. Okay, yeah, I, I don't know why I did that with the camera. Here we go, the end of the first lap. G-Man is still leading. As we move, I think we moved up a few places, don't didn't we, from from a starting spot. Got to be careful around here. Yes, that's good. We made it perfect through there. Well, it's a good turn. It's not a perfect turn, but we made it safely. Well, I've not played Forza in ages, to be perfectly honest, guys, so... You have to bear with me. I really don't like this tunnel. I wish the lights were better in here. Turn 10, please sort that out for the next Forza, if it's going to be Forza Motorsport. We slide in. Yep, there we go. Well held. Clip the inside wall. That's not good neither. They've caught back up to us. But yeah, we. I think P7 is probably where we're going to be finishing then. Unless we have a big accident. But then again, our car normally does come into its own in the final few laps of the race. Or the back end of the races. Again, we're late on the brakes through there. 
need to get that right, don't it, the tyres? Just trying to gas it up and go. Come on. Okay, I was the first one to hit them tyres. Hitting that barrier is not probably going to help us any little bit, but we are gaining on the car ahead. Everything we gain in that last sector there, we just lose everywhere else, so... A pretty boring race so far, I would imagine. With it being just running around in 7th. Got to be careful with that barrier there, because it does slow your car down when you get on it. Remember the sticky grass from like Forza 4? Well, that's a sticky car, that's a sticky barrier. Okay, we caught up big time through there. Now, can we keep it? Can we keep this run going? He breaks there. We can't have any brake lights because we've knocked him out for some reason. Well, not for some reason. Okay, yeah, we're sliding. Yeah, no, this isn't good. Keep it, keep it out of the tyres. No, James, no. What are you doing? Come on. All that hard work we've just blown away by being stupid. I got too excited chasing him and then I blew it all away. Now can we get this corner right? Can we finally get this corner right? Oh, no wonder we're losing so much time. They're taking a completely different line. Yeah, we're definitely lacking a lot of skill in today's race. I'm not really putting Simona Di Silvestro's car in a good light, am I? To be fair, Simona Di Silvestro is a lot better at motorsport than I am on here. Well, to be fair, she's a lot better than at motorsport than I am, period. Okay, so lap four. I'm going to change down gear and slow, be careful through here. Don't want to clip that barrier. We're trying to gain on the car ahead. We can't go flat through here, I don't think. Can't, no, no, we won't be able to. There we go. We, we decent through there. There we go. We've... We've sort of got back into a, a rhythm a little bit, but it's going to take more than a rhythm to get near the front. See, that through there, that's what I was planning on doing while I was chasing him. You know, while I was right behind him, but... Every time I seem to make time upon people, I seem to then go and do a stupid mistake that this car's getting sideways. Look at that lead we've got now over the rest of the field. Well, but the car's behind us, not the rest of the field. Don't clip the tyre barrier. Well, tyres are starting to get a few laps on them, and we're running 
running kind of well in this position, but if nothing else happens, guys, I'm just probably going to skip ahead till the final few laps because it looks like we're just in a no man's land at the minute in, in terms of position. Okay then guys, we're coming around the final few corners to start the final lap of this race. We have caught up to the back of Sam UK, but I don't think we've got the, well enough to beat him to be fair. We've caught up to the back of him, but we've after, it took us a while. That's why I'm waiting until the, this, you know, skipping ahead like I said, but. But yeah, we're on to the final lap of the race and 290, we're gonna make a mistake here, aren't we? Not quite, no, we've ran wide, but we didn't get into the wall, which is the important thing. The, the tyres are screeching as we come through these turns, giving it everything on these old tyres on the final lap. Can we get up the inside here? We, we make a move, we make a bit of contact. But we push him out the way. Is that really off the circuit down there? I didn't expect it to be. But we've got past Sam UK now with a bit of an aggressive move, but I, there was a... There was a move on, an overtake. It took a bit of a dive, but yeah, there was an overtake. As now we cl clip that arco barrier and that wall. Okay, so yeah, we definitely, definitely trying to push everything in this Nissan Altima to try and stay ahead of Sam UK because he's going to probably want to get past us after that. It was a bit of an aggressive move, yeah, I got to agree there. Probably could not done, could probably could have done without the contact, but uh... So we do take, we, we are looking like we're going to take sixth place from this race, but But it looks like G-Man World's probably going to hold on to win yet another race. I don't know how many he's won already this season, but or this Forza Drivers' Cup thing. But we've got two races left. We're almost certainly out of the championship. We'll be lucky to probably even finish fourth, if anything. But uh, G-Man World coming around the final few corners to take what an well yet another impressive win, I would imagine. So G-Man World wins the race here at Rio. And as we're coming around the final corner, we take P5, I oh know, P6, sorry, after, well, a strange race. Over 11.8 seconds off the pace at the end of the race. We just, yeah, I'm just shit at these type of street circuits. Unless it's in an IndyCar or something like that. But, okay, so our rivals that we are racing for the top three finished all ahead of us, G-Man, Jessica, Fat Boy, uh, Frey, American Boy, he finished fifth, I don't know where he normally finishes, Sam UK in sixth, uh, no, seventh, sorry, Aaron Page is in eighth, USP Ruthless is in ninth, and Loic, 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 is in tenth, so let's have a look at what that's done to the championship. Um, G-Man will still be in the lead of the championship. We are dropping off the pace of the top three. We're still fifth, but we got to watch out for Sam UK in fourth. I mean in sixth, sorry. My apologies. So yeah, guys. Let me know if you have still been enjoying this series and what you would like to see afterwards as well. Because we've got two races to go. And I'm going to try and find out what the next race is. So thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, goodbye.